So this is Julie Dodd, I'm the uh, Assessor Development Coach and I'm talking today to one of my learners. So could you say who you are please? I'm Zoe Ben. Where are you working at the moment Zoe? At such a medical practice doing a business administration apprenticeship. Okay, lovely. And that's a level two, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, first of all, can you tell me why do you think you wanted to become an apprentice? What What took you along uh, along this route? I think I wanted to become an apprentice because I sort of like the working atmosphere, I suppose. I prefer this than going to college or school or, like, six or one. I think I think it's... It's a bit more worthwhile coming here because while you're learning and getting all the practice, you're still making money and still having a wide range of learning, I suppose, mm -hmm. within that. Yeah, and um, I suppose you still have, um, you know, access to college as well, though, don't you, I suppose? Yeah, so, yeah, um, I have a certain number of hours a week I get to do my college work, so it's all right. Yes, yes, so best of both worlds, really. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> so what about business admin as well? Why did you choose to do business admin, and what, what, are, you, what are you interested in, you know, in terms of business admin? Where I work at the doctors is sort of a bit different to the normal business admin. It's a bit like the terminology and stuff's a lot different, but it's really interesting. Like, it's a lot different of what you, if you go to like a retail admin job or doing something there, it's a lot different because of all the no terminology they use. So, like, it's all like medical and yeah, basically, it's just a lot different compared to all of the other sort of things you'd do if you were going to do a normal business administration apprenticeship. And you are in a caring environment as well, so obviously, you know, you see patients come through. So yeah. do you think that makes a difference as well? Are you are you quite interested in, you know, that, that caring side of things? Yeah, obviously, it's, it's when you're, you're on the phone to a patient and they're like, like I've had patients in the past say that it, I've made their day or I'm the only pe nicest pe person they spoke to, and it's just really nice to hear that, like... You wouldn't think it, but it does make you feel like happier, and it makes you feel like you actually achieved something. That's nice. That's 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 very nice. So, what do you feel you enjoy most about your apprenticeship? Or you know, it might be you know one thing, or it might be a whole variety of things. I don't know. There is a lot of things. Obviously, it's a big learning curve for me. Like I've obviously never been in a job role like this, so it's nice to have something completely different. And then I also like it because it's nice to be helping people. It's nice to have a, put a smile on patients' faces. Yes. And to see them, they're actually getting what they need and the right care. Yes, you obviously like that um, that side of things where you interact with people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which is, yeah, which is nice because obviously in some admin jobs you can probably hardly speak to some, some people or, you know, only a couple of people a day or something like that. Yeah, but um, obviously they haven't got some people like where we've been booking COVID vaccinations and things like it's so sweet to see the old people they're so happy about it like they're like jumping for joy over the phone that's really nice to hear that really is obviously they're stuck inside and they've probably got no one to talk to mm. now I think particularly during this pandemic I mean you've been working in your place of work all the way through haven't you for the past yeah. 10 months since it started so you know it's you've... just hard because obviously one one day we'll have nothing and then all of a sudden we'll have loads of appointments we have to get booked in by this time and this day so that we have so that we don't like miss out on any vaccinations we don't like miss any because they can only be stored for a certain amount of time and a certain temperature mm -hmm. so we've got to work really hard to quickly get all them done in the right time slots in the right places make sure the patients have got all their letters to bring with them like so yeah mm, yeah yeah so what do you feel has been, uh, have you had any highlights? Have you, have you, I mean, you know, there's lovely, lovely moments that you've explained where, you know, people are grateful to you. That's nice. But have you had any other main highlights? Um, so, I don't know, like, obviously now I do both admin and reception. So I'm doing two departments and I think that's pretty cool, I suppose. Mm. Mm. So you enjoy both? Yeah. I yeah. think it's nice to do, like, not, like, so in admin I'll be on the computer filing things, but then mainly in reception I'll be speaking to patients, so it's a bit different, like, at least I'm not doing the same thing all day, every day. And have you had any, any good feedback from your line manager, or anybody else, you know, any other people within the practice? Yeah, my manager come down the other week and told me, obviously she sent you a 
review of me and she said that she gave me a glowing report and that I was doing everything right and she had to go through like the errors and things of people and who's making what mistakes but she said mine was I was doing it all right. Oh, that's fantastic. Well done, you. Yeah, yeah fantastic. So I'm happy about that. At least I'm not in the doghouse. <laughs> that gives you, that motivates you though, doesn't it, really, to, to do even better? Yeah, exactly, mm. yeah. At least uh, I'm not getting moaned at. No, no, which is which is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in, in terms of um, what you're doing now, obviously you're coming to the end of your apprenticeship right. soon. Um, so what about your career? Where do you see it going? Um, well, I was sort of looking in like, Obviously, I'm not just going to jump out of here as soon as I finish my apprenticeship. I'm going to stay here until I find something with the right um, interest for me and the right money as well. So, like, I want to... I was thinking, I'm not too sure. I have a few ideas, but I'm not too sure. I could either become, like, a PA or a secretary, but obviously I know you have to, like, work your way up to that and obviously have a few more ex like, years' experience mm -hmm. to be earning a decent amount and then otherwise I would I would want to work with like children in a care home mm -hmm. who people don't have parents and things yeah if I can't do that yeah so I have a few ideas but it just depends really what I have more interest in yeah so what I'm um, say the, the the apprenticeship is coming to a close soon within the next few months so um obviously you you mentioned you're going to hopefully stay there at the practice um, yeah, I do intend to stay here for a little bit, obviously not forever, mm -hmm. but I do intend to stay here for a while until everything settles down, because it's quite difficult to like get into a new place. They might not want to be externally employing people, they might want to be doing it just from inside. Yes. So it's, I would rather wait and not rush into another job, just for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. But that's good that you're happy there and you're helping people, so um, it's all worthwhile, really. Yeah, I'm learning, like, new stuff all the time. Like, obviously, I've gone on to reception. I'm, I don't know everything on there, so when I'm on there, I'm obviously learning new things and where, what things go to what departments still and stuff. So I'm learning all the time because every day a different patient asks you a different question, so... Mm, mm. I mean, as I said to you before, I mean, just um, working with you, you know, over the past year, I can see you have progressed hugely, you know, in all, in all areas. And um, obviously that's what the apprenticeship has given you. Yeah, yeah. No, when I first started, I wouldn't ever dare to go on the phone to a patient. I would, that would, I would never do that. Mm. But now I'm all right to do that, so no, it's good. Well, yeah, I think... Like, my confidence... Well, that's right. I mean, it's 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 really helped your confidence, and I think you've done incredibly well. And um, I think you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking to me, Zoe. And that's okay. um, thank you. And I'm going to stop this recording now. Well done. Thank you.